So in the short time that I had my hands on the Autel Evo Max 4T, I managed to get using it at a friend's place, uh, testing out the night mode. So I'll go through all the features and show you exactly what it's capable of here in this video. So make sure to subscribe. So this footage was shot on an iPhone to show you how dark it was at the start of this sort of filming session. You can also see the lights that are being used on the Autel Evo Max 4T, including the bottom down one, which is pretty impressive. And then I'll cut to the footage from the wide angle on the Evo Max 4T here now. And then we're also going to go quickly into comparison on the left side here is um, before I click night mode. And on the right side is after I click night mode. And you can see there's not a huge difference. Maybe if you zoom in on certain areas, it's a bit less shadowy. But it's more just showing you the capability of this drone at night. Anyway, with the wide angle having a max ISO of 64,000, which is pretty impressive. Hence why you're seeing some footage that looks nowhere near dark, but trust me, it was pretty dark at this point. Now, one thing to quickly bear in mind when you're using night mode on the smart controller V3 is um, you must stop recording camera footage to turn it into night mode and then start recording after. So that's just something to bear in mind when you're out in the field. So I'll talk you through the zoom a bit and show you the zoom capabilities. As you can see, the more you zoom in, the darker it's going to get and the loss of quality of footage compared to the wide angle. So cutting to the wide here, as I slowly zoom in towards this wind turbine, you can again see it getting darker and loss of quality. Unfortunately, I forgot to screen record this, but um, I was still able to use the laser rangefinder in this footage and it told me it was about 700 meters away. Um, it was pretty impressive that it could still do that even with a lower quality. Again, here you can see if there was a screen, you know, it's still going to pick that up pretty well, even though everything else is dark around it. So still an impressive 6400 ISO on the zoom camera. And for just the final video here, you can see me zooming in on some planes taking off. Um, you can see there are bright lights at the bottom. Don't worry, we weren't anywhere near the ATC. That's where the zoom's pretty handy. And as we pan around here, you can also see the lights pretty well, considering um, how dark it is on these towers in the distance. So switching to the thermal and infrared camera at night is probably when you can see it at its very best. So I just pointed the camera on some sheep here, and aside from where the wool is, you can see just using the white hot thermal palette, just how clearly you can see the sheep. And you can see just how white their faces and their legs are coming out and it makes it very easy to spot them. Um, switching on to a person, I just quickly moved the camera onto me here. And this is black hot, so obviously the blackest is the areas. And then moving to iron bow here and then I'll just go through all the 10 different palettes that you have on the infrared camera. Demonstrating them at night and as you can see this is when it's working extremely well. And I'll just show quickly here with my mate in frame, uh, how the lava uh, palette works really well to see the details of the person. And also using the light of the bottom of the drone here for the thermal imaging camera. And then we'll just finish off by showing you still very much dark at night, how the light at the bottom of the drone can be used to help see things below you. And you can see sort of when the light cuts off and how it's gone from darker to much brighter. And it's a very impressive light to have on a drone of this caliber. So that was just a brief look into the night mode camera and um, we should hopefully get our hands on the Max 4T soon again at some point. So if you have anything you'd like us to try, just let us know. Please remember to subscribe and thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.